Protests against police brutality are taking place across the nation, as you know. But as crowds grow, doctors are warning that COVID-19 might take advantage. Something to keep in mind here. CW50's April Morton now explains. Protests across the country and here in Detroit continues in the fight for justice for George Floyd. With thousands of people within close proximity of one another, should demonstrators be concerned with contracting COVID-19? I'd say there's a fair amount of risk involved. Um, whenever you have a large enough assembly of people, and here we're talking about hundreds or even a thousand people, just by the odds alone, the virus is most likely present. Beaumont Rural Oak Internal Medicine Dr. Justin Skrinsky says demonstrators are put at more risk when not practicing social distancing, which is the best way to prevent contracting the coronavirus. He also says it's concerning to see so many without masks. This is certainly a dangerous situation, and obviously it's, a, it's an incredibly passionate issue. Uh, it's an incredibly important issue, but at the same time, by being safe, it doesn't have to diminish the message of what's going on here. Doctors say with these mass gatherings, there is a possibility that they may see a rise in COVID-19 cases in the coming weeks. Because we have all those people coming together now, it's very possible that we'll see an uptick in cases uh, after all these protests and all these very dense gatherings. Whether or not we'd see another surge, I probably I don't think that we'll see that number of cases. Dr. Squinsky says while it's important to voice concerns over issues that are plaguing our community, he wants people to be mindful that coronavirus is not done yet. April Morton, CW50 News at 10.